What is going on guys, is Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be going over the game between Wolves and Everton at Molyneux and I've kind of criticised the team in uh, the last couple of games and I think it, it was for good reason because we weren't up to standard, especially the, the games before that, the three wins before that, we were exceptional, we hardly put a foot wrong and the last two games, especially the Arsenal game as well, Looking in the hindsight, the Sheffield United game wasn't too bad. I mean, if we come out of that with a nil-nil draw, it probably would have been different circumstances, didn't it? Still, it wouldn't have been a great performance. But overall, it would have been a good point in the end. But the fact that we lost it late on, he was absolutely crushing. But, it's credit to Nuno. It, like, ever since he's been here, the three years that he's been here, he's not experienced many back-to-back -back defeats. But in the times he has, he's. I think this is only the second time he has. Or it might be the third time because we might have experienced it last season when we went on a, a, a wretched run just before Christmas. But. I mean, credit to Nuno. He's. Any any other manager, Walter Zenger, Paul Lambert, Kenny Jacket, any of those managers from, from recent history, they would have crumbled in that situation where they've they've lost two. Not, the team's not performed well. Going into a game, they should be winning. They probably would have lost. They probably would have lost this one. But Nuno, it's just... I mean, I've given him a bit of stick, like the players. He, he's he, he's turned it round magnificently. And, you know, if, if this was a different result, if this was a defeat, I would be questioning his integrity and what he like what he's doing because it, it's 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 been a great season and those two defeats you know if, if we had lost this one we may have been looking at you know higher mid table possibly our well, European dreams might have been over even though we do have the Europa League still to come anyway but Nuno he, he didn't rest on his laurels he didn't rest on his, his, his laurels and he didn't just hope that the same team would learn from their mistakes from the past couple of games and provide a, a performance today. He switched up the team and he gave Pedence a chance finally. And I think that's what when many Wolves fans have been crying out for, a, a start for ba Daniel Pedence because he was brought in from Olympiacos and it's a bit like the Patrick Ochoa saga as well from earlier on in the season. And I, think, I still think to this day... That Patrick Cotrone was unfairly dealt with, really. He was he was barged out the door. He didn't really have an opportunity to shine, and possibly maybe he didn't really perform as well as as expected. But you know, he, in my personal opinion, he should should have been given to at least the end of the season. And maybe if he hasn't, if he didn't perform, still, then I think it, it's fair judgment to 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 loan it out to Fiorentina as as they did. But I thought that was going to be the same with Daniel Pedence as well. But he has been given his chance and he took it. He, he really, really he really did take it well today. He won a penalty to 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 set up Jimenez for you know, you know, he won the penalty to set up Jimenez his sixteenth goal of the season to put us one nil up just before half time. A brilliant, cool, calm, collected penalty and you know, Jimenez he hasn't really been getting the service the last couple of games, obviously, because we haven't really been playing that well. And, you know, we've been playing quite negative the past two games. It's been quite disappointing. Like, you know, the, the fluid of play, it's, it's, been, it's been quite lethargic, been quite slow. And, you know, it was good to see the brand of football we've all, all been accustomed to under Nuno for the past three years. Fast, free-flowing, just all-round positive flowing, flowing football. And it... It's really good to see, and hopefully now, uh, from from now to the end of the season, we can continue to see that. And as we push for a Champions League place, which is still alive, thanks to this win, we played really well, and we we've, we've set ourselves up nicely. Because up until Chelsea away at the end of the season, we've got a couple of nice games now. Everton, we we've dispatched nicely, and we were expected to beat them. Everton, I saw them, I saw them on 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 Monday night against Spurs, they were poor, so, you know, I thought we'd probably have a good chance against them, and it should have been more than three, it really should, 
Adama Traore right at the end. I don't know how it wasn't 4-0. It should have been 5 as well. It really should have been 5. Diego Jota losing his footing earlier before dispatching the third goal. So it really, it really, it could have been 5 or 6. It, it could have been, as you say, it, it, a cricket score. It really, it, it could have been any score today. Everton were well off the pace. And, you know, it's 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 a sad decline for Everton, really, because they were a, a main staple, you know, top seven, top eight side in the Premier League under David Moyes. And since then, they've, they've gone through a bit of turmoil with many managers. And Carlo Ancelotti, there was... There was new belief. There was new belief for Everton that they could, they could start challenging again for the top six as they were, for many years under David Moyes, and it just hasn't happened. The quality of players, they've got quality players there. They've got you know Calvert Lewin who scored a bag full of goals this season, but you know they've they've hit a really torrid run of form, and we've hit them right at uh, just at the right time, and a much needed win cancels out our two defeats against Arsenal and Sheffield United, respectively. And, you know, in perspective, as I say, that the Sheffield United defeat doesn't look too bad now because, you know, yesterday, Chelsea got Chelsea got absolutely battered 3-0. And, they, you know, Chelsea barely had a sniff yesterday. Sheffield United played really well, to be fair to them. So, you know, it just... We didn't play that well, but... We we kept it to one nil and we've been quite good when we've not had our best day, like we did against Sheffield United, like we did against Arsenal. Although we didn't play well in those games, we didn't get absolutely hammered. Although we probably did against Arsenal, but you know if you know what I mean, we're we, we're quite good at damage limitation when we know we're probably going to lose. Our defence is quite good at just shoring up and making sure it's not. An absolute rollicking, and you know that's why Nuno hasn't really had many five nil defeats. You know, absolute hammerings in his time with us so far because he's he's built built on a resolute resolute defence, and they've been quite good at damage limitation. But anyway, it's been a great three points and a much needed three points as well because I was I was a bit concerned. I was a bit concerned, and I think. Quite a few Wolves fans were after the Sheffield United game because it was it wasn't the best of performances. And yes, you know if that Ruben Neves free kick had gone in, it might have been a different different circumstances. Because but you know, and at the end of the day, we didn't turn up in that game, but we most certainly did in this one. And it was role reversal really. Everton didn't turn up at all, and it could have been it could have been any score. It really could have been any score today. We were absolutely terrific. And, you know, testament, testament to Nuno, really. And that's, that's a legacy he has, he has built at the club so far. You know, when, when the team's going through a bad spell, there's, there's always one game that's, you know, he, he changes things around slightly. And it seems to work for him. And he's given, he's given players a go, like Daniel Pedence. And I think it's, it's been good for Daniel Pedence. I think this, you know, it's it's kind of a good omen because we've never really got to see Daniel Pedence before and maybe if if we had done better in the games against Sheffield United and Arsenal, maybe we had maybe we might have not got to see Daniel Pedence this season as we have done today. We might have maybe had a couple of appearances off the bench, but he hasn't really made an impact off the bench. Maybe he is better starting the game rather than Appearances off the bench, which he has obviously done so far. This is was his first wolf start today, and that's very much the opposite for Dharma Traore. I think it was, it was, I mean, it, it was kind of the the by the time Dharma Traore came on today, the game was done done and dusted, and there wasn't really much for for him to to make an impact in. Which you know, it's. It's not really showing what he really can do because the game was already won. But I guess he, he did again. He did put a couple of good crosses in, into the box, but he didn't really make an impact today, as I say, because you know it was comfortable by the time he came on. But maybe in different circumstances, he could 
he, he could have made an impact and he, he's better he's definitely better with with 20 minutes to go rather than starting the game because you know defenses are tired and that's where he's most effective but as I as I keep saying he, he wasn't really effective today because well we we, we could have just done without him we didn't really need to sub Adama Traore on today we didn't, it wasn't that type of game we, we were comfortable from start to finish to be honest and Everton well they're, they're having a, a bit of a torrid end to the season but well that's that's f all too great for us and we're on to Burnley next and we're on to BBC for that one which, which is great it was great we, we that's our first game on the BBC it's nice to, it's nice to have a game on there isn't it but hopefully we can cut, um, pick up where we left off against Everton in midweek against Burnley and hopefully pick up another three points and finish the season strongly because, as I say, we've got a couple of good games now. We've got Crystal Palace coming up after Burnley as well. And they 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 lost to Villa today. They were awful. I watched them today. And, I mean, it's just absolutely awful awful performance from Crystal Palace and I mean I'm not surprised if if, if Roy Hodgson might, might go at the end of the season they've had, they've had f like five defeats in a row I think it is now in the league for Crystal Palace so a great time to play them as well but I hope you have enjoyed this this video if you have make sure to smash that like button a much more positive review today compared to the last two ones but Hopefully, well, hopefully there's a couple more positive ones to come in the coming weeks before the end of season game against Chelsea. That'll, that'll most certainly be a massive, massive game to end the season. Anyway, I'll see you in midweek with a review of the Burnley game. Until then, goodbye, guys. Round and round we go, losing self-control. Tell myself, but I don't wanna let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run, looking for something, chasing the sun.